Hello, today I'll be showing you how to get your first person view mod working for a Ghost Recon Breakpoint. It's pretty easy. So obviously you'll need Ghost Recon Breakpoint and make sure to always open it in DX11 when asked. Um, and if you are not getting this prompt, you can go to the settings of the game and properties and open up from there. And so under in the description of this video, there will be a couple links and you want to open those up. Two of them will take you to Nexus Mods. So you're going to want to make an account if you do not already have one because you will be downloading these two mods. First Person View and First Person Blur Removal. And to download both of these, you simply go to Manual and then Slow Download. And that will download a zip file. It does not look like this. I renamed these just so it's easier but once you have both of these you want to extract them and you'll have these ones and for the blur removal mod what you'll need to do is go to your game go to manage and browse local files because you're going to need to put this mod's files into the games directory which is what just opened up here I've already done it, um, but what you're just going to do is open here, open this up. You can either copy or paste all of these files just within this, within this folder you extracted, and all you have to do is paste them in the directory. And like I said, I've already done this, and that will remove uh, any weapon blur from this mod. As for this mod. Um, a prerequisite is something called Cheat Engine. And as you can see, uh, it looks a bit funny right now. So we're going to download Cheat Engine. So the website looks like this. You're going to click this big green button. Not this one, but this one. Um, I'll give you this. I've already downloaded it a couple times. You'll open up what you downloaded. Click Yes. English. That's what I use next and then it'll ask you if you want to download some extensions they none of them are viruses they're just annoying um, so skip all once it's installed you will finish and it will automatically open up G Engine um, you click no for the tutorial and close this one and you will need to change one setting for this to work so settings is over here and just in general settings, go down and click this. Even auto attach when another process has already been selected. And OK. And then you can close this. And you actually won't really be touching this again, so you can delete the shortcut if you would like. And now, if you looked in our first person uh, mod, now it has the G Engine icon and G Engine type. So that means it's working. Quick note. Um, because this is it's in the name Cheat Engine, I wouldn't suggest using it in any sort of multiplayer because it's very likely it could get picked up on and you'd probably be banned um, for using this client, even if you aren't actually cheating because people do use this engine to cheat as it is in the name. So we can actually open this now and you'll get this and you can see the first person mod down here. It will be red but just ignore that. It doesn't actually mean anything. Um, now you're actually going to play the game. So play. OK. Once you have Ghost Recon Breakpoint open, you, uh, you're probably going to want to put it in windowed as I did just to make this easier. Um, now what you need to do is attach this Qi Engine, which you open through your mod folder, to the game. So you'll open up this process list and go to processes here and look for this grb.exe and you're going to click open. Yes. And now that it is attached, all you have to do to activate your mod is click this first person here. It'll activate this as well as the FOV, which you could change if you like by double clicking here. And now as you will see, this your character 
will be a bit shrunken down, um, and that means the mod is working. It's activated now. And now, when you play, when you play, excuse me, you will start inside of your character's head, which looks very weird, but all you have to do is aim down sights, and it will be fixed just like that. And um, you should see that your gun is not blurry. Um, if it is, you're gonna wanna double check the blur removal files. And now you should be able to play as normal. Um, a couple quick things. If you're crouching and you turn, you'll turn into your body. So you'll wanna use A and D to actually move your character around. Um, otherwise you play it just as Ghost Recon Breakpoint. I have my crosshair on because the laser sights aren't really accurate. Um, so you can't really shoot hip fire um, accurately without the crosshair. But that's just my preference. And one final thing, if you have any questions, I didn't make this mod, so I probably won't be able to answer them. You'll wanna reach out to um, the mod creators, which you can do on the Mod Nexus website. Over at where is it? Down here in posts, and um, they should be responding um, here and there. You should be able to get help here, or um, you can reach out to, for example, Deef who is credited in creating this mod right here um, on his YouTube channel or on Twitter. Um, he's helped, he's answered a couple of my questions online. Um, so yeah, hopefully it should work for you and now you can enjoy this. And so yeah, if this helped you, please leave a like. Um, if it didn't, ask a question and I'll try to answer it. Um, and enjoy playing Ghost Recon Breakpoint in a whole different way. Bye.